Hey, welcome to our January 2015 World of Equine News Report here on Speaking of Horses TV. I'm your host, Wayne Williams, saying Happy New Year 2015. Well, Speaking of Horses TV again hits the road in 2015. First stop is Horse World Expo in Baltimore. The expo was held at the Maryland State Fairgrounds January 16th through the 18th, 2015. Join us for top equine trainers, clinicians, and educators as they share their knowledge. They also have loads of great bargains with buildings full of all types of vendors for all types of shopping. Don't miss all the horses to view and to meet and to be entertained by them also. We'll see you in Baltimore at the Horse World Expo January 16th to the 18th, 2015. Well, now it's time to join Jennifer Cotlio for our monthly stretching exercises and yoga excerpts. So let's prepare for riding with Jennifer. Watch this. Hi, I'm Jennifer Malacatillo, and I'm here today to tell you how, in two minutes or less, you can improve your riding with movement. We all know that we need a strong, supple core in order to ride well. But why is this? We're sitting on animals that produce a lot of energy, and we need to be able to absorb that energy and manage it without flopping all over the place. And this strong, supple core is what allows you to do this. So exactly what is your core? I think of it as being in four places. Your rib cage, your belly button, just above your pubic bones, and in between your two seat bones. So I'm gonna lay down here and we're gonna go through each of those four parts and I'm gonna show you how you find that, find those and access them. So you wanna lay down on your back, feet bent, knees, sorry, ankles, knees and hips all in alignment. We're gonna lay down. And we're gonna start with the top part, which is your lower rib cage. I like to think of my ribs as shutters so they can be open or they can be closed and open and closed. So a closed or partially closed shutter is the first part of engagement. I think as a rider, this is a really important thing to be able to do because it can be an extremely subtle half halt. I can just close my rib cage a little bit and my horse will come back. If I really push it down and together, he'll probably halt because it stops motion from traveling up and down your spine. So that's the first one. You need to be able to draw your rib, lower rib cage down and in towards your spine. The second one is right underneath your belly button. This is a Pilates mantra, draw your navel to your spine. So I want you to imagine that there is a little string on the inside of your belly button and someone's underneath your back pulling it down. So you're pulling this down and in not necessarily moving your bones. Some people will also say it feels kind of like a corset pulling around, right? So right now I'm pulling that in, but I'm not pulling my rib cage in, just engaging here. The third one I think is the most difficult one to find. It's the muscles just above your pubic bone and you wanna feel is if you're be able to put pressure on your pubic bone and pulling it up towards your sternum. The last part are your two sits bones. So if you imagine your sits bones as my two fingers, I'm drawing them towards one another, okay? It's not a clenching of your tush, it's drawing your seat bones towards one another. So independently or in combination, I should be able to pull my ribs down, draw my navel to my spine, scoop my lower abs, and draw my seat bones together. Now I have an engaged core, right? Now, when you're riding, you really don't use this last one because we don't want to have our seat bones tight. We don't want our bones tight, we want soft. But I will tell you, most people need to firm this up a little bit. So while you're working out on your own off your horse, keep working that. So you say, oh my gosh, this is really hard to find all this. I'm gonna give you the super secret way to find your core without having to go through all this monkey business. You're gonna cough. So I want everybody to cough and then 
hold that cough feeling. And you'll feel that your rib cage is down, your belly button is towards your spine, and you're drawing your pubic bone up towards your sternum. And that's your two minute tip for the day. If you want more information, you can go to my DVD or my website, www.jennifercatillo.com. See you next time and happy riding. Hey, we'll be right back. We got a story about a new roadside service, Trail Guard. So stay with us. You know, we want to take a moment to thank many of the fine people who have made Speaking of Horses TV possible. King Barnes, custom designed and built to your specs, crafted by experienced craftsmen just for you. Visit King Barnes for your class barn. Revitavet, light therapy products to assist in faster healing of your horse. Use the light pads to warm up muscles before riding. It's innovative, reliable, and you get top results. Revitavet. And a thank you to Just Dump It, easy and safe handles for your wheelbarrow. Save your back with this dump system, easy to install and use. Check out Just Dump It. And who's your horse trailers, crafted and built in northern Indiana. Unique designs and factory crafted living interiors. Amish craftsmen at their best. That's who's your horse trailers. Thank you for your support of Speaking of Horses. Well, have you ever been stranded along the highway with a vehicle malfunction? Add to this the fact that you're towing a large horse trailer with horses ready for a big event. What do you do? You can get the vehicle towed, but what about the trailer? More importantly, your horses or livestock. In many cases, they just must go with the tow vehicle to the nearest shop and almost are victims of the process. Well, let me introduce you to a great group of people, Trail Guard, an organization dedicated to helping the people who tow trailers and livestock as well as travel and cargo trailers. A Trail Guard will come to your rescue with a tow vehicle for your truck or tow vehicle and also a second vehicle to hook on and tow your trailer and horses either to your home or to your event or, depending on where you're at, a safe place to board them away from harm from the road or from the repair shop. Now, Trail Guard is operated by people knowledgeable about horses and livestock, and they have a complete group of well-trained and dedicated people to serve you, to rescue, to understand the special needs of horses and livestock. You can contact Trail Guard at uh, www.trailguard.org. Learn more about this wonderful and stress-relieving program. They also offer many other services for the road warrior to make travel easier, much more relaxing, and stress-free. Check out Trail Guard today. Well, you know, speaking of Horses TV was recently at the North Carolina State Fair. One of the young women performing there with a Mustang for the Year of the Horse celebration was Lauren. We met and talked with Lauren. Watch this. What do you want? You're getting nibbled on, right? <laughs> I'm getting licks. And he's... Lauren Zapata is my guest, and she does a lot of work with Mustangs. Now, uh, tell us a little bit about this Mustang. Um, this is Mustang Gringo. He was actually part of the Magical Mustangs show last night. That's why he still has his war paint on. Um, we did a Native American theme. Gringo is positively reinforced. That's why he's kind of, he can still smell the cookie on my hand. Um, <laughs> He, we specialize in liberty and tricks, which is what we really emphasized on on our act last night. And I'm gonna do a little bit for you today. Well, tell us how you got started with Mustangs. Um, I actually had a lot of inspiration from Mary Miller Jordan. Uh, I did not have a Mustang until I started competing in her obstacle shows. And I had the opportunity to adopt Gringo and I, just, I took it and I've been doing different clicker training things with them ever since. Now. How long have you had Gringo? And tell us a little about the history of you working with him. Um, I've had Gringo for two years, and it's taken about a year to get him where he is in the clicker training. Come up here, Gringo. And get a little closer. <laughs> Come here, bud. Yeah, you want to smell for the camera? Okay. And uh, it's taken about a year to get him where he is, and he's, he's speaking for us. <laughs> and um, 
he's probably my most enthusiastic horse with the clicker training. So he and he really does enjoy it. He he really enjoys his job. Yeah. Well, we're gonna see a little of him in action okay. right here, so stay with us, watch this. Well, there you have it, Lauren Gringo Mustang Work, right here on Speaking of Horses. Hey, the Southern Equine Expo is coming to the Miller Arena, Murfreesboro, Tennessee, February 20th to the 22nd, 2015. Now, Speaking of Horses TV will be there, and uh, we'll be filming reports and even more. Great horses and trainers and shopping and entertainment. Join us there. Come by, say hello. The Southern Equine Expo is February 20th to the 21st in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Well, shifting gears, you know the Lions legacy is going strong with John Lyons and the John Lyons family. John, along with his sons and daughter, as well as a grandson, now are traveling and doing clinics. Now, Michael Lyons is now living in North Carolina. We caught up with Michael recently. Here's our talk. Watch this. Hey, here we are. Speaking of horses, we are in beautiful Raleigh, North Carolina, and we're at the uh, North Carolina State Fair because the North Carolina Horse Council is putting on a celebration here that is the Year of the Horse Celebration. A lot of things going on, and I'm very pleased to be standing next to Michael Lyons. You. You're part of the Lyons legacy. Now, tell us... Uh, the pecking order. Where do you fall in this lion's legacy? <laughs> very bottom, very bottom of the pack. You know, uh, Josh Brandy and Dad. You know, they're all they've all been around for a while. So I'm just trying to make my claim now. And don't you have a nephew doing it too? Oh my gosh, yeah, he's he's gonna tear us all up here in a little bit. <laughs> so we gotta be careful. Now that's Josh's son, right? Yes, sir. That's Austin. How old is he? Uh, he'll be 17 here this December. See, I saw him. He was in. Uh, uh, Pomona when I saw you last February as well so yeah. now you're living here in North Carolina right yep just moved down here about six months ago started out on my own uh, doing clinics uh, privates lessons you know taking horses in and trying to do everything so and uh, we just finished a drill team competition and you were a judge had you ever done that before I've judged a few things before but never a drill <laughs> team competition uh, it's kind of fun. I mean, this was an inaugural. We had the four teams, but when you get them where you got 10, 12, 15 teams, it gets really exciting. It, it does. It gives you a little bit, when you have to sit and watch it and be a little bit more precise, it gives you more of a, yeah. an appreciation for it. So. Now, we have another thing in common here. Uh, one of my sponsors for the TV show periodically is Source Nutrition. And uh, I know they've been tied in with your dad, but you just got involved with Source. I did. They just uh, actually contacted me and um, asked me if th I'd like them to sponsor me. And I said, absolutely, as soon as they asked me. So, I mean, just an awesome product. Well, now, tell us a little bit about Source. Well, I, I mean, it is the best supplement I've used um, on any of my horses. I've, I've used it. I mean, I've seen it work on dad's horses, and I've seen it work on Josh's horses, and um, even my own now, I've, I've seen it work, I mean, miracles, you know, so. 
I mean, well, I have to attest it did because I had a 30-year-old mayor that had been losing some weight a couple of years ago and uh, was in contact with Source, and I used some of it on this 30-year-old mayor, and she came back very nicely for 30. Oh, absolutely. We, I've had a, you know, 15-year-old horses that have lost a bunch of weight and put them on it. I've had uh, one of our Frisians uh, lost some weight, so we threw him on it, and he's actually looked better this winter than he has any other I've seen him. So, yeah. so what uh, what do you got on your agenda training wise? Clinics or horse expos or what's on your calendar? Oh, I got a clinic with Josh coming up. Um, I'm actually bringing him down here. This will be the first time he's been in North Carolina for about 10, 10 years. Um, and that's down in Oxford, North Carolina. And that's in December. So we're going to do a reigning clinic there. Um, and then myself, I've got you know, one or two, three clinics every month and private lessons. I'm pretty booked up. So, yeah. Well, that's good. And uh, and you spent a day at the North Carolina I did. I Horse Council's deal here at the horse at the State Fair, right? Absolutely. I came to see you, Wayne. <laughs> oh, that's right. Thank you. I appreciate that. I came to see you. And that's because both of us talked to Source, and they said, you guys got to get together, right? Absolutely. Hey, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Oh, thank you, Wayne. I appreciate everything you've been doing. And I uh, wish you really good luck here in North Carolina. That puts you in North Carolina, Josh in Tennessee, and your dad's still in uh, Colorado, right? And he's in Arizona, yep. And Brandy's in Arizona for, yep. All right, so you guys, are, the Lions legacy is covering the globe, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to. Michael, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. All right, you stay with us because we got more coming. We're right here at the North Carolina State Fair. We want to take a moment to thank many of the fine people that have made speaking of horses possible. Source Nutrition, micronutrients for your horse or dog, developed and harvested from the ocean on the Maine coast. Years of research and development for the best supplements available. Source Nutrition. Equisentials, horse conditioning and prep products developed by Dr. Tom Tweeten. Totally safe, improve your horse's coat and health. That's Equisentials. Echo Green Grid. Stop mud and uneven wet ground. Echo Green Grid installs easily to give a great base for footing. Use it in the paddock around the water tank or use it in the barn. That's Echo Green Grid. And a thank you to Fly Predators. Fly Predators from Spalding Labs. Control flies and fly larvae the easy way. Use fly predators, and flies will be gone. Thank you to these people who support Speaking of Horses. Hey, where's that blue stuff? Is a new development we want all of you horse people to know about. A natural and simple product. Watch this. Welcome to Hey, Where's That? Home of Hey, Where's That Blue Stuff? A topical antiseptic lotion for horses. Now, our company's aim is to provide a product that people can trust. Our product is made with natural ingredients that are safe and pleasing to use on your horses. Caring is why we are in business. We look forward to having a website newsletter with informational updates weekly. So take a moment and explore our website when you go there. More importantly, we would like to hear from you regarding our product. No one knows our equine friend better than you. Thank you for checking us out. We want to tell you that Hey, Where's That Blue Stuff was developed by Tina Dennis for use in their standard bred stable. It was too expensive to buy the overpriced and ineffective products for 30 horses in their care. So Tina decided to take her own product, make her own product, she would bring the blue stuff into a plastic container into the barn. The staff would yell down the shed rows, Hey, where's that blue stuff? After many requests for the product, they decided to bottle it and sell it to other horsemen. This happened with all positive feedback. Now, we're going to show you some pictures right here of before and after wounds that have been treated with, Hey, where's that blue stuff? Look at this and see the natural improvement with the all-natural ingredients. Teresa Pryor 
is a fellow horse owner at the stable, and she would use that blue stuff on her horses. Now, when Tina would bring it to the barn, she said the remarkable results on her horses that had scratched and had rain rot was a great product, easy to work with, and safe for all of the horses. Now, Tina really has developed an awesome product, she said. It works better than anything out there on the market. I like the honesty that is behind the product. And she was determined to give the horses in the stable a good product. Hey, where's that blue stuff? Relieves the pain and discomfort of bad scratches. Gets rid of rain rot. Carnary band fungus. Heals scratches. Stubborn fungus on the legs and body. And when she decided to bottle it up, she wanted it to be affordable. A product for horsemen. Those are quotes from Teresa Pryor. Be sure and check out Hey, Where's That Blue Stuff? Go to the website, learn about this wonderful product. Check it out at thatbluestuff.com. Hey, where's that blue stuff? You know, the Northwest Horse Fair and Expo is March 19th to the 22nd, 2015, in Albany, Oregon. It's a great equine gathering in the Pacific Northwest, just a bit south of Portland, Oregon. Now, speaking of Horses TV, we'll be there, and we'd love to see you. Also, come see the trainers and entertainers and horses and just good old family fun. The Northwest Horse Fair and Expo, March 19th to the 22nd, that's in Albany, Oregon. Join us there. Well, you know, there's a new book out, and it's got a surprisingly great storyline. It's called Racing to Heaven. It's a short promo about this very good read. Watch. Hey, there's a great new equine book, Racing to Heaven. Go to racingtoheaven.net, get all the details, and how you can get a copy and possibly even win one. Be sure and check it out. That's racingtoheaven.net. Hey, we'll be right back on Speaking of Horses in our World of Equine News Report. Stay with us. We at Speaking of Horses would like to thank some of the people who helped to make Speaking of Horses TV possible. A big thank you to Equine Clot. Equine Clot is a wonderful product. Carry it in your saddlebag, put it in your first aid kit. Wrap it on an equine wound, it immediately promotes clotting and is a great first aid tool. Thank you to Equine Clot. And to Equestrasafe, a complete line of equestrian riding products for trail, for arena, for wherever. From reflective vests, reflective headgear, tapes, signage, everything you need to ride safely and to be safe with your horse is available at Equestrasafe. Dot com. Check them out. Thanks to all of the fine people that make Speaking of Horses TV possible. Well, you know, many people, and mostly women, either get back into horses after the kids are raised, or they start for the first time because the family is raised, and now they have the time to have that horse they've always wanted. Well, for whatever reason, there are some common sense questions that need to be asked as you get going with horses in your 40s or 50s. Here's a talk with an author of a book called Common Sense for Horses. Hey, here we are at Speaking of Horses, and we're in beautiful North Carolina, and uh, we are at the North Carolina State Fair along with the Horse Council for the Year of the Horse Celebration they've been doing here. And I'm happy to be sitting here with 
Deborah Morgan, and she has this new book, and this is the book, and the book is called Common Sense for Horses, and then beside it it says Horse Sense for Humans. So Deborah, tell us what, uh, what prompted you or inspired you to write this book. This is a book that I wish I could have read 15 years ago when I got back into horses as an adult. I had horses as a child and had forgotten everything I ever knew and didn't realize how much my parents had done at that point. So this is about all of the mistakes I made and my effort to prevent those same mistakes being made by other people. Uh, mistakes such as what? I mean, you're getting back into horses. And we all know that, uh, and it's women especially, who have this love for horses, who once they pass 40, 45, kids get grown. Shh, I'm sorry. I'm just, in general, they get, the kids are grown, and now they've got, you know, the, they're young enough to be with the horses, they have the love of horses, and they have all of that and they're, they're ready to get into it again. So there are some misconceptions, right? There are, and we tend to feel like that our whole entire family is going to be a part of this project. We want that we picture, I had the illusion that of wonderful trail rides with family members and everybody coming out to the farm and doing all sorts of things with me, and that just didn't happen. So I ended up with, I started out with one, ended up with 10 horses of my own to take care of. So what you're saying is, you got these horses, and then nobody else hung around them, and you're like, wait a minute, I thought we would all get into this, and it didn't happen, right? Correct. They hung around until it got hot and sweaty and dirty and natty, and then it was time for them to go in. That's when it became your project again, right? Correct. All right, so uh, it's quite a book. It sort of reminds me, I love that the horse sense for humans, too, because humans can use that, you know. Uh, it sort of reminds me of an old Will Rogers uh, line where he said, horses are always smarter than people because you never heard of a horse losing his money betting on a people. You know, so, and horses are, I think, in many ways smarter because they, they think everything is black and white and they don't get into second guessing. There's no ego problems, <laughs> all of that stuff. So, you know, so it is, it is quite a, it's quite a subject and it is something that a lot of people, I went back in and they can't understand why the rest of their family, their partners, whatever, just don't have the same love. That's correct. And I've tried to address a lot of those things. I've also tried to, uh, to, to pre help people prevent a lot of the mistakes I did make, uh, even the practical things such as my horses not being washed every day and have, you don't have to have a huge fancy barn, all those things that we do for ourselves. We think the horse needs, but it's actually for our own self. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's the definition of a jacket, what right. a kid wears when his mother's cold. Correct. Right. I know horse blankets, same thing. The horse may be fine, but you have decided they need to be blanketed. I know, I know. Hey, how do people get a hold of this book? Uh, the book is, is available online at most of the major bookstores and booksellers. However, it can be, you can go to commonsenseforhorses.com and it will link you up with me directly and I can inscribe it for you or for a child or for whoever and it makes great a great little gift, great stocking stuffers, all kinds of things. And you uh, inscribed one for me and I thank you very much for that. Well, you're welcome. It's very very pleasant meeting you. Uh, I've enjoyed this and uh, on speaking of horses, check it out. It's Deborah Morgan and it's commonsenseforhorses.com. Get the book because uh, the horses have a lot more common sense than we do. We know that. <laughs> hey, we're on Speaking of Horses. Deborah, thank you. Thank you, Wayne. It's nice to see you. And uh, we got more coming. We're in North Carolina. Stay with us. Well, that's our January report as we kick off 2015. Wow. I'm your host, Wayne Williams, Speaking of Horses TV, and we'll see you in February for our report, or we'll see you down the trail. Thank <laughs> you.